49ers, the Cowboys, they're underway. Taken from about the 12. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. First play from scrimmage, second down. Now Prescott being chased out left. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And brought down, but not before reaching the 45-yard line. Give him 15 there, and the Cowboys have a first. Prescott looks to throw on first. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Cowboys. C.D. Lamb, 55 yards. And the Cowboys need just three plays to go down and take the early lead. Now Mike McCarthy going to decide to go for two here. Scott, they're going to throw for it. Flush to his right. That's caught. And he will get in to make it 8 nothing. Tell you what, they're not messing around. You get the quick touchdown, and then you go for two to go up 8 nothing here on the road. In a sense, they hit him with a big shot right away. You don't throw a jab after you throw the haymaker, right? Go ahead and go for two. They did. They're in control. So an onside kick fail in the first quarter. Not sure I completely see the logic there. It's not apparent, is it? You almost have to go deeper, I think, and maybe if we try and work along with them and, and speculate a little bit here, they must feel like they need to steal possessions in this game, and maybe they don't match up possession for possession with the opposite team. They've got to steal it and try and gain an advantage, and they tried, they just didn't get it done. Almost feels like anything you can do, we're going to try and match or do better. We've already seen one touchdown pass from the opposition. They tried to equal it on that throw. Rolling to his left. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. He turned that into a nice game. Gets him eight yards closer for third down. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. Had a chance to maybe limit them to three if they could have gotten that stop there, but a new set of downs. And with a new set of downs, you got to take the mentality of the whole thing, right? And everyone's looking at the offense and saying they've got the advantage. The best defenses just say, okay, new set of downs gives us another chance to make a play ourselves and maybe change things up. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. That's to Mitchell out of the backfield. Down he goes at the 23, a pickup of four. To throw again on second down. Purdy forced out to his left. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Maybe not exactly what they had in mind, but that scramble good for six and a first down. Here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And that's something you have to get ready for defensively because in today's NFL, teams will use their wide receivers on jet sweeps, end of rounds. They'll move them back in the backfield and make them running backs. 
partner, this was much more of a tap pass, but effective nonetheless. And I think both guys love it. If you're a quarterback, it's an easy completion. If you're a wide receiver, you get the easy reception and also a chance to try to make a play with your feet. They're trying to keep the drive going. This will be play number eight. It's third and two. They stay on the ground. McCaffrey again. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey nine-yard touchdown run and the Niners have cut the lead back down to two they'll try and throw for it to the end zone but it's incomplete I know it's still just the first half but we'll see if that two points looms large later I would have kicked it and I know that they were trying to equal the score but sometimes you kind of get seduced into that. It's the first half. Kick the extra point and continue to play so you don't have to chase points later. The risk reward of the onside kick. When you don't get it, the risk comes out to play. And here they gave up great field position. And that's the key to everything because you're trying your best to press advantages when you have them. And field position leads you to that type of play calling. And whether you want to blitz or whether you want to throw the ball deep, those types of things, now that they've given up that type of field position, the advantage has switched to their opponent. Now a diving effort right sideline. He's got it. 11 yards and a Cowboy first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass on the first drive and comes right back, and he's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him, and I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw when they went through two-minute drill, when they went through all the different situations. The ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. 8-6 the score after one. of scrimmage the 15 it's first and 10 looking to throw Prescott touchdown Cowboys two first half touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott as his guys are able to extend their lead now Mike McCarthy saying let's go for two they'll look to throw Flushed out right, and this is going to be caught. It's good, and that extends their lead by two more. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. Touchdown, 49ers. Debo Samuel, 75 yards. And the 49ers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Purdy looking to throw. And he's got it. They convert for two, and that gets him even closer. Now a two-point game. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold from the 21. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. So for this offense, Charles, remember drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan and this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? 
I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there is never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Brandon, all things considered, they have to feel pretty good about getting that type of a gain considering the blitz that they just had against them. On second down, Elliott. Four yards on the pickup there is it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. On third down, Elliott. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Here's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. Really nice job there, showing the mobility, getting outside and creating something. I mean, that's good on any down. When you're going for it on fourth, that's a big play. And it wasn't designed at all. Not a designed play for him to bootleg out or get outside the pocket. That's just feeling pressure, knowing where to exit. And as you mentioned, finding the first down on a fourth down play. A first down carry by Elliott. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Prescott from the gun. Over the middle, hauled in by Lamb. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. 19 yards on the pickup there, and now they'll have it first and goal. Now Elliott. And this play doesn't go anywhere. Backwards, losing yardage to the 11. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Prescott. Yeah, he's got it. Touchdown. Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Now Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Well, as most teams do in their two-point attempt, they pass the ball. Instead, it gets intercepted. And remember, if you pick it off, you got a chance to take it all the way back and get two points yourself, right? Yeah, not the case there, but that's why you got to be really careful with those throws, especially to the outside. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the end line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone. Could potentially tie this game up. He's got a man complete. Yeah, he's got to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. On the move to his left. Throw left side, McCaffrey's got it. After all that, they only wind up with a yard. It's second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is, because you got to get his attention, because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Oh, I saw this one with defensive eyes, because even as he escaped the pocket and bought time, the coverage stayed tight. Nothing broke down. Throwing it away? That was his only option. They go play action here, Purdy. 
And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Purdy sets up to throw again. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Eight yards on the touchdown pass. And the 49ers get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Throws right side. And he's got it. So they went ahead and went for two to tie the game, and it works out. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. They're going to take this up close to the 40, so really good starting field position. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And they're going to get this to about the 44-yard line. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 11 seconds remaining in this first half. A first down throw for Prescott. Right back to his running back, Ezekiel Elliott. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And they'll burn the timeout with five seconds left. A chance to try to add three points before heading to the locker room. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. The kick by Marr is good. And with it, they have taken the lead. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you those ended with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take, punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. And how about this right out of the locker room? An onside kick attempt. Both these offenses have been in fine form. What will the second half bring us as we are underway in quarter three? A gutsy call there. Yangs at the locker room with a lead. Tried the onside kick. It didn't work. And you just wonder what the gain was there. They are already in the lead. They were in control of the game. They may have given momentum now to their opponent and maybe kick-started things going in the opposite direction. And that is incomplete. Understanding he's just down one possession, trying to make something happen by extending the play, but the coverage downfield was excellent. He escaped and bought some time, but that one goes incomplete. You ain't doing nothing, though. You ain't doing nothing, though. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He'll get only three there, so it leaves him with a third and seven ahead. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Purdy now to throw off the play action. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. A little juke. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. I like the play design there. They occupied the defense downfield. Everyone trying to account for someone. But unfortunately, they didn't account for the running back slipping out of the backfield. And he was absolutely unnoticed and wound up getting big yards on that play. You can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Davis Price on first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Nice chunk of yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Push 
second and six. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're going to be set up now with the ball at the 13-yard line. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And tip your cap to Demarcus Lawrence. Nice play defensively. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Here's Purdy. And the grab by Croft. They'll give him four yards there. Third and seven now. Throwing here, Purdy. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Fourth down try. Here's Purdy. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. On first and ten, Prescott. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Taylor. Six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. Gold able to tack on the extra point, and that will make this a four-point game. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. And not much on this one. Takes it from the 21. And they're going to wind up with pretty good starting field position as they get it out past the 35. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking... My replacement may get an opportunity. <laughs> Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically, one guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. Up the middle, here's Allian. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. Six yards the pick up, and that's a first down. They go to Elliott again. And a six-yard gain gets him right around the 43. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Third and short yardage, Prescott. Yeah, that one's gonna be knocked away and incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And a very determined run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 27. Good effort. Fourth down, no problem. Just a ho-hum pickup of 14 to keep the offense on the field. Check, 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 check
Right back to him on first down. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, the end of all that hitting and hollering, it was a four-yard run, so the offense is going to go back to Huddle and feel pretty good about themselves. Defensively, you have to feel okay because you didn't let it turn into a bigger run, but the goal, shut it down for two yards or less. That's when you start to feel good about yourselves. And, oh, it's incomplete. Oh, that would have been six points, but somehow he couldn't rein it in. Third down, it's Prescott. Open man, right side, it's Lamb. That he won't quite make it. He needed six, he got about five. Fourth down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Giving to the big tight end on fourth. And he'll have the first down, getting this one to the 14-yard line. I love those plays. Fourth and one, that's who wants it more, this time the offense. Yeah, there's a lot of hooting and hollering in there, right? A lot of contact and a lot of collisions as they try and find some space. Who's going to drop their hips, gain leverage, and move the other side backwards? We saw it there for the offense getting it done. Inside give to Elliott. And he'll fight his way down right around the 12. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They come up on a second down now in a game that looks like it's going to go down to the wire. Throwing on second and eight. Prescott flush to his right. That's complete right around the eight. That'll be a pickup of four as they work with his four-point fourth quarter lead. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he's brought down short. Two yards there, needed four. This has been an up and down, back and forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive could take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. They'll run it with Elliott. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. It'll be a pickup of four, and the Cowboys are set up now with a first and goal. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. He takes it across for the touchdown, and they've taken the lead late in the final minute of the fourth. Wow, wow. Extra point by Marr, up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Following the touchdown, here's Marr to kick it away. And he's going to go out of bounds on the return. He won't even get this thing back to the 10-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And a drive that stalled out last time. Went for it on fourth, didn't get it. How does that translate here? I would imagine momentum's with the defense. Definitely with the defense, because anytime anyone goes for that fourth down, that's telling you as a defense that they, you can't stop us. We don't think that you can. And when you actually do, that may put a little dent in the confidence of the offense the next time they hit the field. Yeah, we'll see if they can bring that pride the offense this go around. Purdy to throw. This one caught by Kittle. And he'll have another first down as he gets out of bounds as well to stop the clock. Here's Purdy. Open man is Juwan Jennings. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. 
as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go in the football game. He'll look to throw. Drops this underneath, it's Mitchell. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Now another timeout called for by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. He's back to throw. And this is caught, Jennings. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. Well, they got the yardage they needed there, picked up the first down, got out of bounds. How about the urgency that they have as well as the understand where they are on the field? Lance back to throw. And he's got it. It's caught for a touchdown. 